Good morning students. Today we will talk about zero energy pool chamber. First of all, what, are, what is the meaning of zero energy pool chamber? All of you know that uh, horticulture produce is very perishable in nature and it requires uh, storage in the pool chambers. And the zero energy pool chamber means the chambers which uh, are made for, to store the fruits and vegetables for a short period of time and this kind of chamber doesn't require any energy. Now, uh, if we talk about the horticultural produce, the quality deterioration in India takes place immediately after harvest due to lack of on-farm storage. So, spoilage of fresh fruits and vegetables is a serious problem in India and pool storage which can prolong the life of fresh, fresh produce cannot be constructed on the farm or at the site where we are harvesting our fruits because it is very expensive to buy or to run and to maintain these pool storage equipments and it requires a large initial capital investment. So considering all these points like the uh, high capital investment in the pool storage and uh, the deterioration of the quality of tools because of lack of uh, storage. So we need to construct something that doesn't require much energy and that is a low cost. So there is so these are the pool energy chambers. These are made from bricks and we require sand and water and a roof. These all materials that are uh, required for the construction of food chambers, these are very cheap in nature and are easily available uh, on the farm. So we can construct these chambers on the farm and we can store our produce for a few days. Now Indian Technology, Indian Institute have developed the zero energy pool chamber which is an alternative of common refrigerator and uh, this is also known as PUSA zero energy pool chamber and uh, this is an on-farm storage chamber and we can store our fresh fruits, vegetables and flowers and we can extend their marketability for some time and the spoilage of fruits and vegetables can be controlled in this chamber because of the storage temperature. And uh, in this zero energy pool chamber, it, uh, the temperature is uh, lesser than the outer requirement and temperature is uh, 10 to 13 degrees Celsius cooler than the outside temperature and it also maintains a relative humidity up to 50%. So these pool chambers can reduce temperature by 10 to 15 degrees Celsius and maintain a humidity of 95 95%. And uh, this can increase the shelf life of the horticulture produce and also retain the quality of fruits and vegetables. Now, what is the principle of this zero energy pool chamber? So, zero energy pool chamber works on the basis of direct evaporative cooling. As uh, all the horticultural commodities like fruits and vegetables, these uh, respire and water is evaporated from the from these fruits and vegetables. So, when the water evaporates it leaves a cooling effect on the fruits. So a cooling effect is obtained by the evaporation of water. And uh, if the evaporation is higher, the greater will be the cooling. And if the evaporation is slower, then cooling will be the slower. So uh, because of this evaporative cooling, the our produce uh, remains cool for few days or few, some time. Now talk about the construction. Zero energy pool chambers are constructed from the materials like brick, sand, bamboo, straw, penny bags, etc. And uh, it is most effective during the dry season. And uh, these materials like bricks and sands, these uh, are uh, these have the great capacity to absorb or retain water because uh, these bricks. We have to splash water on the bricks and sand so that our commodities may remain alive, may remain uh, fresh. So these bricks have great uh, capacity to retain the water, which will evaporate very slowly, and thus it will have a cooling effect on our commodities which are kept inside these two chambers. 
Now selection of place uh, where we have to build our uh, pool chambers. The site which is having natural air flow is best for this construction. The place should be shaded and it should be well ventilated and should be away from direct sunlight. And this chamber should be constructed on an elevated place so that we can avoid water logging during the rains. And uh, uh, easy uh, this easy to build uh, our locally available material. All locally available materials should be there, such as bricks, sand, bamboo, and gunny bag. So this is an ideal zero energy pool chamber figure. Uh, so this is made of bricks. There is a floor of bricks, then there are two walls, and uh, inside the walls, the sand is filled, and this sand and bricks are kept moistured with the water. So, our commodities can be kept inside this chamber and uh, can be uh, can have lesser temperature than the environment, uh, outer environment. Now, what are the steps for construction of zero energy pool chamber? Firstly, select an upland having a nearby source of water supply and make flow with bricks, right? Now, uh, it has to double wall. We have to make double wall and uh, this double wall having a cavity between these two walls. Then drench the chamber with water and soak fine riverbed sand with water. 7.5 cm cavity between the double wall should be there and uh, in this cavity we will fill sand and that sand will be kept wet. Then uh, make a frame of top covered with bamboo or silky or straw or dry grass. Right? Then this frame uh, is made out of bamboo. Then the cavity between the walls is filled with sand and the bricks and sand are kept saturated with water. So in this figure you can see the water source is there and uh, uh, there is two walls of bricks and inside the, there are two walls there is a gap which is filled with the sand. And this sand and bricks are kept saturated with water. During hot summer months in India, this chamber is reported to maintain inside temperature between 15 to 18 degrees celsius and a relative humidity of about 95 percent right so uh, it maintain the temperature of 15 to 18 degrees celsius this is again the figure of the energy chambers this is how we can capture fruits or vegetables inside the, these uh, chambers Uh, these figures showing the uh, all the chambers which are covered uh, and uh, foods can be kept inside these. Then roof. There should be a thatched roof to cover to shed uh, to cover this chamber so that it can protect the commodity from the direct sunlight and from rains. So this is uh, how. It, uh, this chamber is covered with the plastic sheet. Then there are some requirements for this chamber. Uh, make shed over the chamber in order to protect it from the direct sunlight and rain. So this is a recommendation that always make a shed over the chamber. Then keep the sand, bricks and top cover of the chamber wet with water. We have to keep uh, sand, bricks and top cover wet. So that uh, it can provide the cooling effect on the fruits and vegetables. Water twice daily in order to achieve desired temperature and relative humidity. So we have to water it daily, twice daily, and we can fix a drip system on it uh, with the plastic pipes and micro tubes, and which can uh, keep you know, bricks and sand wet all the time. Then store the fruits and vegetables in this chamber by keeping in perforated plastic trays. Always keep the fruit uh, in the perforated plastic trays. And cover the space with the uh, thin polythene sheet. Pool chamber should be reinstalled once in three years with the new bricks. Right? So uh, after three years, we have to reconstruct this uh, 
this cool chamber because uh, old bricks cannot hold or can cannot retain water for more time so we have to reinstall the uh, cool chamber after every 3 years do not use bamboo wood or fiberboard boxes because these would be damaged by moisture so these all are the requirements of uh, cool chambers next what are the advantages of building a cool chambers Firstly, the, there will be better marketability of the fruits and vegetables if we can store these fruits in the Virunadi you know, the chamber. We, uh, these fruits and vegetables will retain a nutritive value if we store them for some time. And uh, this is an environment friendly storage system with no pollution. And it can be constructed by an unskilled person. There is no mechanical or, or no electrical energy is needed. And it allows small farmers to store produce for a few days and thus avoid costly rush selling and display sale. It is ideal for household storage. It reduces the losses and pays for itself in a short time. Useful for temporary storage of curd, milk, and good food. Can also be used for mushroom cultivation and the storage of fiberglyphs. Then there are some precautions that should be taken while construction of the the stores the two chambers so uh, it should always be constructed in the place where breezes blow where there is where there is direct sunlight it should be avoided and uh, it should always be built on elevated soft site to avoid the water logging conditions always use clean and unbroken bricks with good porosity so that it can uh, hold water for much time and always keep bricks stocked over and sand saturated with water prevent water drops coming in contact with stored material and keep the chamber clean and disinfect the chamber periodically with permitted insecticide fungicide chemical and uh, we should always to protect the fruits and vegetables from fungal insect pests and reptiles etc and uh, always construct this chamber under a thatched to avoid direct exposure to sunlight so now in this table we can see that uh, there are some produce products some vegetables and fruits and uh, we can see the comparison between if we have uh, kept those commodities in the cool chamber and if they are not kept in the cool chamber they are outside in the outside environment so leafy vegetables can be uh, can have a shelf life of less than one day if they are in outside environment but if they are kept in cool chamber then the shelf life may be increased up to three days in summer and in winters it may be increased up to eight to ten days if we talk about potato uh, potatoes can be kept for 40 days in the outdoor environment but if we keep these uh, potatoes in cool chamber it can be these potatoes can be kept uh, uh, for about 97 days without any deterioration in the quality. If we talk about in, uh, about mango, mangoes can retain their shelf life of four days in the outside environment. But if we kept keep these uh, mangoes in the cool chambers, uh, they can uh, be kept for about eight days, and they can be uh, they can retain their quality for about eight days. And same with the orange, oranges uh, can be kept only for eight to ten days in the outside environment but uh, if we keep the oranges in the cool chamber the shelf life may be increased up to 50 to 60 days so uh, we can see the comparison so uh, what we can conclude from this that the uh, cool chambers having lesser or uh, uh, decreased temperature than the uh, outside environment so we can uh, retain the quality of our produce in the cool chambers as compared to outside environment. So now this table is showing the cost of construction of zero energy cool chambers for a 100 kg capacity chamber. Now the bricks, we require bricks, sand, bamboo, thatched shack, water tank, pipes, plastic waves, labor. So all of these in total, uh, the amount will be 4,000 for 100 kg capacity chamber. So this is uh, very cheap to construct the zero energy pool chamber. So this is all about the zero energy pool chambers. Thank you.